Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. I'm in a baking mood and I don't know why because all of a sudden the sun is out and it's, it's warmer in North Vancouver, but I feel like baking. So I've just done a, um, a chive and a basil scone and now I'm going to try a pesto scone and this is going to be amazing as well. So the premise to scones is um, very similar to probably lots of scones in the world. I start with two cups of, of flour, I'll put this flour, you don't have to necessarily sift the flour for scones, it's not that exact, so that's one and a half, and that's two cups of, two cups of flour. To that, I want to add four teaspoons of baking powder, so one, two, three, four, and this recipe came from my mom. Many years ago, she brought it over from England, so it really works well. One teaspoon of salt goes in, and um, I'm going to use about an eighth of a cup of sugar because this is a savory scone, but I do want a little bit of sugar because it adds to it, strangely enough. Just one eighth of a cup. The original recipe, there's, um, I think it's like a half a cup of, uh, no, it's a one cup of sugar. But this is a savory scone, so I don't want to add that much. So I'm going to sift that up. To that, I'm going to add five. Um, just break that up a bit. Five tablespoons of cold butter. So in that goes, and we start breaking that up. Now, to add a little bit of a twist to this, I'm going to add some sour cream, and I'm going to add some pesto. So these are going to be pesto scones that I'm going to use as a savory scone to put. Uh, so you can put ham. You can have a ham sandwich. You can have a um, open face tuna melt with these scones and I'm going to use either this flour cutter or the large scone cutter which is a little bit different because the last time I made scones I made them an appetizer size so this is going to be perfect I could tell. So to this I want to add an eighth of a cup of sour cream so I'm just going to wait for the butter to get um, all incorporated so that's ready to go one eighth of a cup of sour cream and I'm going to add about a half a cup of pesto that I made, that I've also made before. Now the pesto, it's on, mm, it's on YouTube. It's got fresh basil leaves, garlic, olive oil, um, and it's just looking absolutely amazing. So this is, I'm just going to stir this up. Look how beautiful that pesto is. Isn't that a gorgeous sauce? So I'm going to put probably all of this pesto into my scones. And of course it's going to turn the scones green, but they're going to be delicious. Okay, the butter is now mealy, looking mealy, and that means about pea size. So to that, now I want to add my, oh I forgot, I'm going to add some cream cheese. Almost forgot the cream cheese. So about a quarter of a package of cream cheese, which is about 65 grams of cream cheese. I must say it really does add to the deliciousness of um, these recipes and I'm using the Philadelphia brand and uh, the original brand and it has to be really cold so it works quite well. So I'm just going to incorporate that, then I'm going to have my sour cream, I have some milk here ready to go and one little kick to this is I'm going to add cracked pepper. Now whoever puts cracked pepper in scones but that's exactly what I'm going to add. So as soon as the cream cheese is incorporated, there we go. That's really good. So I'm going to add the one eighth of a cup of sour cream. Perfect. I'm going to add this. Um, this ends up being, or maybe, um, why don't I just measure it so that we make sure? Yeah, it is. It's one quarter. I want. A, I want one quarter of a cup, and so that's two of these because it's so many. So I'll just add another one of these. There we go. So one quarter of a cup of pesto. You could add more if you wanted, and then I'm going to mix that in ever so slightly, and um, then I'm going to add my milk. So this is two-thirds of a cup of milk. I might not need it all, so I'm just going to watch it carefully. See, I don't quite need it all, so I'm going to hold a little bit back because you don't want to overmix it. So that's how quick it is to make these scones. So you're going to flour your board again. There we go. Just lightly flour your board and take this off and you're looking, wouldn't this be great for St. Patty's Day? Green scones. These are going to be just amazing and so light and fluffy with cream cheese and with the, um, 
with the pesto and the uh, and the milk. It's going to be fabulous, just to say. So, if I was going to if I was going to Ireland, these are the types of scones that I would expect to see. Um, wouldn't it be lovely to be in that beautiful country? That's where I was. Uh, all my ancestors are from is Ireland. That's where I, I guess that's where I get my freckles from. Okay. Now, I just formed that into a ball. Again, don't worry about the dry stuff on the bottom because if you worry about that and you try to incorporate all that dry, you're going to ruin your scones. So just very gently flour the top. Just gonna move some of the flour off my hands. With your rolling pin, just um, roll it out to whatever thickness you want. Now, you can either use your um, a fancy cut cutter like this your choice. Couldn't those be pretty on a bake sheet? And I've got my bake sheet over here, but I need more parchment. So I'm going to cut these out and line them on my my um, on my baking sheet, and I'm going to bake them. Now these will bake. Aren't those gorgeous? Look at that. Can you imagine a shamrock? Perhaps a shamrock. I don't have a shamrock with me, but I've got this. It sort of looks like a shamrock. So I'm going to cut all these out. Now this isn't going to make that many, but the trick is, I'm, these are going to be a great size so that they can be split open and used for a sandwich. And that's the whole point. So, on your second, so I'm just going to, see, I have to, re I have to redo the dough. Now, this is a trick. When you go to redo the dough, pick it up and take away all the flour, because you don't need the flour anymore. And don't overwork the second piece. You want it to look just like the first piece, so roll it out, but be very careful not to overwork it because you're going to ruin your scones. So again, cut out your nice shapes. As I said, shamrocks would be perfect for St. Patty's Day. So out of this, I'm lucky if I get six, but that's all I need for tonight's dinner. So I'm hoping that you're enjoying this. And these are going to be amazing. So I've got six of these beautiful green pesto scones. Aren't they lovely? Great. So I'm going to throw them in the oven, 400 degrees, uh, about 12 to 15 minutes, and they're going to be toasty brown, ready for tonight's dinner. And thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. I have a new blog spot, www.cookinguncovered.blogspot.com. And that's where you can get all these recipes, and they're print-friendly now, thanks to my friend Janine Friesen in Manitoba. So um, have a great night, and... Happy pesto scones. <laughs> They're going to be delicious. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.